Um, <laughs> she's more winded up with her hands. Why on earth did Diane quit as leader after 18 days? The way she was waving, though, she found it hard to maintain for 18 days. <laughs> 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 so Farage is back as leader, or is he? Sky News had a good way of dealing with any confusion. They captured an interview with Farage like this. UKIP leader, we think. <laughs> He's off to support fellow demagogue and post-truth moron Donald Trump in the second presidential debate. There are rumours that Nigel It's all right now saying it like it is, isn't it? <laughs> You still speak to David Cameron, Nick? No, no, anyway, moving on. <laughs> you still phone him up when you're drunk? <laughs> I think, I don't know how you feel about this, Nick, but I think uh, uh, if you make promises and you get yes. elected based on them... <laughs> I don't... He's going to get in. I really think he's going to get in. No, what, don't be so miserable. Brexit! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think if Donald Trump becomes president, I mean, it's not a surprise attack. They've seen him coming for some time. He'll have a heart attack or he'll be, you know, mm -hmm. something will happen. He, 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 won't get, he won't get past February. It sounded like you were going to do it there, Paul. Like, well, don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that plans have been put into place. <laughs> Have you met Donald Trump? Never. What do you think of him? I don't know. Sometimes you see his sort of, the, the way he has hair, so something like that. Maybe <laughs> uh, his mouth, small. <laughs> and conference, mark my words, we will make breakfast. Brexit, I should say. <laughs> After spending 70000 each to train for five years, I imagine junior doctors will think that's pretty fair. Perhaps one of them took this photo of Jeremy Hunt. Ah. <laughs> Jeremy Hunt definitely does have one fan. Now, who is that? It's not me. <laughs> is it Jeremy Hunt? <laughs> who absolutely loved his own speech, as we can see here. And we must recognise it today. <laughs> Fighting this horrible disease. <laughs> so we will launch the campaign you want. <laughs> wow. Uh, Fish, someone's found out that they talk to each other in regional accents. Why does it matter that some cod sound different to other cod? If they think the cod's a bit, a bit rough for them or a bit too posh for them, they won't go with them, you know. Like a Midlands cod wouldn't go with an Ascot cod. They can't find, e they can't find each other. I, I, I love you, but I can't help but feel that we shouldn't be together. <laughs> <laughs> you That's... swim in deeper waters than I do. <laughs> that is extraordinary enough, basically right. <laughs> 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 this is Kim Kardashian, who up to this point I had no idea what she looked like. She has been robbed in Paris. They've taken away um, jewellery worth millions, and that's the story. I, I didn't know who it was because I haven't usually seen her from this angle. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate on that? <laughs> she you seems to have a front. <laughs> Do you keep up with the Kardashians? I, I certainly do. There's very little about them I don't know. Married, married to Kanye West? Y Look, indeed. <laughs> and divorced from Kanye East. <laughs> I've got a son, Saint. Saint? And a daughter called North. Saint and North West. <laughs> know. Whatever happened to traditional names like Fred or Rosemary? That's yeah. all I was... <laughs> They penned an ode to the road. And that's what happens when you move from grass to skunk. Why can't you take your glasses what? off so coolly? Yeah, like, that's why I was going to go from grass to skunk. <laughs> He's done that before, hasn't he? <laughs> I was well practiced that move, wasn't I? I'm, I'm, I imagine I'm you say that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Fish monk, skunk back in your uni days. <laughs> what? <Sorry. laughs> Come on, we're bringing up Michael Gove's student days. What about yours? People have done worse. Have they? Your mate, he fucked a pig. <laughs>
So, has this been a worthwhile experience for you then, do you reckon? It hasn't quite finished yet. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's very important for us to unite against the West. Just, do you think, well, have you been watching this at all? Um, it isn't the 70s. Yeah, I wish it was the 70s, the Cold War. That was a lot easier to get your head round, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there was the Russians and there was everyone else. Exactly. That's how I liked it. <laughs> Do you have confidence in Boris Johnson? I, uh... <laughs> you have confidence in the role of Foreign Secretary. Because <laughs> you seem quite equivocal in a recent interview. <laughs> uh. How about saying, I have confidence in Boris Johnson? I've always had confidence in the role of the Foreign Secretary. That's what uh, I said. <laughs> Sorry, that's not I sat down with Boris, we had a very good meeting, he's taking the role incredibly seriously. Why won't I have you say more it? confidence in Boris Johnson now that I've sat down with him than I have before. There you go. <laughs> so, Ruth, do you have confidence mm. in Boris Johnson? <laughs> My confidence in Boris Johnson increases every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, I mean, his attitude towards women is very, very much his, his attitude to the rest of humanity, really, I suppose. Um, he's a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, this is the new Samson of Scrapped. It's Galaxy Note 7. Yes. After the phones keep exploding. Mm. Uh, why is this particularly damaging for Samsung? Well, they're a phone company. Yes. Uh, <laughs> If you were a big bomb maker, it'd probably be good. On Ian's team tonight is the leader of the Liberal Democrat Party, who is appearing on the show just two weeks after Nick Clegg, which means the Lib Dems have had almost as many seats in this studio <laughs> as they have in the <laughs> Are you likely to be the next England manager? Um, no, I'm not likely to be the next England manager. OK, I'm just checking. I've got too many skeletons in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> How about President of the United States of America? <laughs> well, that's a possibility. I cannot believe for one minute that they'd want to replace a black president with an orange one. <laughs> is a fun app that guesses how old you are using machine learning. Uh, so we, we've done it to you, Ian and Paul. Uh, uh, Ian, 26. Yeah. <laughs> what? And Paul, 28. Don't get too pleased with yourselves. So this is what happened with Norman Tebbit. <laughs> We're going to be joined by Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. We're talking to her about plans for a second referendum on independence. I'm sorry, we've uh, very clearly run the wrong pictures of that particular sequence. My apologies there. <laughs> I mean, it is a pity that Hillary is such a terrible candidate. Um, anybody else would have won by now. <laughs> And if Michelle Obama was standing, it'd all be over. Yeah, all over. Yeah. You got the wrong president's wife. <laughs> According to The Sun, one person who's lost a lot of work because of Allardyce's departure is Steve Warbank. Sam Allardyce's lookalike. <laughs> Surely anyone can do a Sam Allardyce impression with their hand over their face, yeah. Ian. I don't look like Sam Allardyce. Well, you might he do with your like hand over your face. Yeah. You know him, he's a dancer. <laughs> Chris, you've been caught unaware on camera a few times, haven't you? Second half is just about underway. Who started the better, Chris? <laughs> well, the second half is just underway down at Upton Park. West Ham won, Southampton won. Who started the better, Chris? <laughs> Second half is well underway <laughs> at Upton Park now. Southampton back on level terms against West Ham. Who started the better, Chris? <laughs> he has not got a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> uh, which means at the end of this round, it's Ian and Tim two, Paul and Chris six. <laughs> Can, 
Can I just say that this coalition is a disaster? 6-2. That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> well, not for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's quite good. But... Good, yeah, yeah. Do you think the, do you think the score in is rigged, Ian? Yeah. If I haven't won by the end, <laughs> yes. this is rigged. I mean, he's rigged. You can be slow or fast when you must get through the light. Your pride hits you and hurts you. Defend and attack. There's only one way to be them. Get round the back. And that is why we won the referendum. Mm. <laughs> Ian's doing his Sam Allardyce impression, look. <laughs> No, it's a terrible moment for me, because I've just changed my opinion about Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think uh, we'll make from it, financially? As Bazillions. So, ha sorry, how many? Bazillions. I thought you said Brazilian. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a random thought you were sitting there. <laughs> we'll be rich enough for every citizen to get a free wax in. <laughs> Whether they want it or not. <laughs> it's the future for our economy. Exactly. I mean, it could be the, the waxing hub of the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We could become the rip-off merchants of the world. Some of you saw it on teletext at the bottom, didn't you? <laughs> didn't David Cameron say that it was in their manifesto? It was kind of no ifs, no buts, there will not be a third runway as well. Yes, he did, yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, the time for blaming him for everything has come to an end. <laughs> I don't Not know, really. I think we should extend no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, I'm still blaming Mrs Thatcher for an awful lot. <laughs> it's just kind of quicker, you just get right in there. Yeah, and it's, it's, people can agree on blaming someone who's no longer at all relevant. Or know. alive. Or, yeah. <laughs> has, has David Cameron died? <laughs> oh, I didn't oh hear God. the good news! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Um, uh, no, I don't hope David Cameron died. <laughs> <laughs> I just wouldn't mind if he did. <laughs> Um, we interrupt this program. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a chillaxing accident in Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his whole, he relaxed so much, his whole he, bowel he's, he's fell out. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what John Claude Juncker had to say after that? Someone from the BBC said, you know, what do you think about Theresa May? And he went, <laughs> We have that clip. Oh, in fact, it's, oh. it's worth seeing. Mr Juncker, Ros Atkins, BBC News, good to see you again. How did the evening go with Theresa May? <laughs> it's quite a catchphrase, actually. You nailed it as well. Yeah, no, I've been watching him for years. <laughs> and we cover ourselves in spray-on cobwebs out of respect for our American trading partners. <laughs> Let's enter into the spirit of it with the haunted house of news. Oh. Fingers on buzzers, see if you can guess what's scaring you. Oh, no, don't buzz. It means we've got to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's a wonderful fantasy creation. The legs of a woman and the head of an Oxford English dictionary. Yeah. What oh. more could anyone want? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you were quite right. The Edstone was quite expensive. Do you know what it cost exactly? The general election. It was... <laughs> <laughs> It's after that he signed the Treaty of Tilsit in 1807, he was encouraged to do some celebratory rabbit shooting in a park with friends and colleagues. How many rabbits do you think were laid on for him to shoot? 75. Higher. 175. 75. <laughs> <laughs> it was. What celebrates the joy of monotony and repetition? Dave. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> BBC Parliament. See how you like it, yeah? <laughs> Nothing wrong with Dave. <laughs> and as auditions begin for a remake of the film Tarka the Otter, one young hopeful waits to see if he's got the part. <laughs> 17.4 million people, more than have ever voted for anything in this country, ever voted to free us from the European tyranny, and it's gonna happen. Yeah, but this was... Get real, get with it. Oh. You had a result decided by the judges, and I just, what bit of it don't you get? <laughs> I mean, you can't just have another decision in court just because you want one, except the decision. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
just be moaning wanna, you wanna... on about how you don't like it. <laughs> Suck it up! When we have a referendum, which isn't very often, no. that means that we think the people should have the final decision. Yeah. And we gave it to them. They made the final decision. So let's get on with it. Right, so it, you, you have no problem with this decision? Is this a topical satire show? Are we having a political discussion about it? <laughs> We're waiting for the show to start. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can use this bit as landfill. <laughs> <laughs> what is it exactly that the High Court has ruled? The government doesn't have the power on its own to trigger Article 50 and then has to refer it to Parliament. <laughs> Which treacherous lefty, out of touch lovey yeah. yes. has been Prince insulting Philip. the will? <laughs> yeah. nice. uh, that's very amusing. <laughs> Where do you carry your extra smartphone, Andy? I don't have a smartphone, Victoria. What's I don't that? have a phone. I don't. Mm. What carry, do you mean? I don't carry a mobile. Mm. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> where, where do you keep yours, Paul? Uh, I have a telephone box at the end of my road, <laughs> which I carry around. No, I don't have a mobile or do email. Are you ghosts? Yes. <laughs> I think I might be a ghost, because I had an experience at Gatwick Airport a few years back. I was waiting, they had done yeah. some building work, and they, yeah. they had this system whereby you had to be photographed on your way in. Oh, my the, God. The car um, and the uh, computer... Yeah. Was, wouldn't take a photo of me. Ooh. So the security guy said, I think it might be your hat. Take your hat off. Yeah. Took my hat off. And then he said, oh, it's not. Take your scarf off. Took my scarf off. Still no photo from the computer. And then he said, uh, well, maybe it's your jacket. Took off my jacket. And then I said, have we got a problem here? Yeah, kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really fall for the easiest things, don't you? <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Do you, know, do you know what his explanation was? We what was it? Know. He said to me, yeah. I think the problem might be that the computer doesn't recognise your face as a face. <laughs> In related news, what did someone with access to the internet and too much time on their hands mm -hmm. create this week? Somebody accessing the internet with too much time on their hands. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Who could that be? They made something beautiful. Shall we have a look? Yes. Yeah. I think the Daily Mail have got their new love child scandal. Yeah. <laughs> God, that is terribly frightening. <laughs> it is frightening. Let's stop looking at it. People will have nightmares. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the fridge is talking to the loo. He ate four ounces of food about 20 yes. minutes ago. <laughs> Let's see what happens later. <laughs> This. This is the one conversation where yes has no role. No. I suppose the fridge could warm the toilet, couldn't it? Yeah. It could say, tell the vegetable spring rolls, <laughs> tell the window to lift itself up. Time now for the odd one out round. Just, oh, I shouldn't, oh yeah. Why, did you think it was wrong to have your glasses on there? That was... Yeah, I get confused about when they're on and when they're on. Yeah. I'm the same. Have I got them on now? <laughs> I don't take this the wrong way, Andy, but I wouldn't know where you'd put them on that. <laughs> I've got a good idea for a ghost story. Okay. What's that? It's about a man whose face isn't really a face. <laughs> and finally, pudgy older fathers what? I read this. They're incredibly attractive to women. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Very attractive to very, women. Very, very. Very attractive to women. <laughs> very attractive to women. <laughs> It's true. I yeah. certainly recognise it as a face. <laughs> <laughs> that's a compliment, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's, that's probably the nicest thing a woman's ever said to me. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Have I Got News For You. I'm Charlie Brooker. In the news this week... With Paul tonight is a comedian who, on a programme this week, promised that if Trump won the election, he would never appear on television again. <laughs> oh. So please welcome shamefaced liar Rich Hall. <laughs> the safest place to be. I know. Um, well, uh, we start. Nope, I'm not coming up. 
We start with the biggest stories of the uh, week. Paul and Rich, can you see? Take a look at this. Yes, let's have a look. I wonder what it's going to be. Ah, oh, yeah, this is news that Toblerone has changed the shape of its chocolate. <laughs> What's happened is the sort of the traditional sort of pyramid shape of the Toblerone, in order to save costs, have actually made the Toblerone gaps bigger. As you can see, a lot of these people are very angry about it. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> have you noticed know, anything else that's happened this week, Paul? Tuesday evening? Oh, bingo night. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how the news was reported in the world's press? Yeah, there were some brilliant headlines. Uh, there's this one, a German newspaper. <laughs> Uh, finally, my favourite, this pithy Mexican entry. <laughs> Do you think this means that misogyny and racial hatred are the way forward? Not the way that Toe Rowan have handled it, no. <laughs> <laughs> are you suggesting that Donald Trump is a crook? No, I'm suggesting that he's a moron, misogynist, sexist, vulgarian orange head. <laughs> 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 Which um, leads us back to Toblerone's new flavour for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did Vladimir Putin greet the news? Well, he, he said, for me, Toblerone has always been <laughs> an iconic bar. You've drawn a picture of uh, Nigel Farage, haven't you? I have drawn a picture of Nigel Farage. <laughs> yeah. This is a separate career we didn't know existed. No. Should we have a quick look at it? Can we borrow <laughs> Is this in a book that you've got coming out? It is, Ian, yes. Thank Good grief, you. I've paid so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've done you as well. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I've lost interest in this book. Can we, uh, let's have a vote. Who wants to see the drawing of Ian? <laughs> uh, you're on it too. Democracy <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> can we bring that up? Yeah, go on. Let's see if we can guess which is which. That she says... Ian, his lop-eared bunny, <laughs> and, and, and Pine Merton. <laughs> did you notice what he did at the end there? <laughs> oh. Basically, as a leader, he shouldn't really be trying to hide, no. and as a hider, he shouldn't be hiding behind glass. Donald Trump has been elected president <laughs> of the United States of America. But it's horrible, all this trolleying business. We're living in Trolleying? This... <laughs> is, that what, is that what it's called now? People coming around your house and throwing a supermarket trolley. <laughs> Don't like your opinions. <laughs> yeah. He's the prince, he's the second son. It's his job to provide entertainment. The first son is there to be boring. Um, <laughs> And William's doing that terrifically. Um, <laughs> so that's his job. To be... To, Interesting, to, naked, mm. like Princess Margaret, pissed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 uh, you obviously haven't done any constitutional history. This is the job of the second sibling. Mm. First sibling, wave, dogs, Balmoral. Uh, second sibling, boy! <laughs> Prince Charles, Prince Andrew. Prince Charles, yeah. Prince Andrew. Thank yeah. you. There's a Paul's agreed with me about something. Yeah. It's a first. <laughs> so you've gone to see Shakespeare more than once? <laughs> Why? Um, <laughs> I've watched Black Mirror, some of it, more than once. Really? Yeah. How did it compare to Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> Which was better, my programme or Shakespeare? Shakespeare. <laughs> and it's a very healthy thing to have. Uh, experts, soothsayers, uh, astrologers are all in much the same category. He's not a real person. That is not a real person. That is Sasha Baron Cohen doing a character. <laughs> now, who'd like to see a picture of Farage, quite possibly the happiest moment in his life? I think that's the door into Trump Tower. It's got it is fantastic. Have you seen the pictures of inside? It's sort of late Gaddafi. The <laughs> <day>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps early Saddam, but it's... <laughs> it's a riot of vulgar dictator chic. It is. 
I mean, it's fantastic. I would watch a whole documentary series with, with it's like location, 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 but it's you just describing everything in relation to former dictators. Oh, there is an absolute soup son of Mao in here. <laughs> I'm afraid it would be me going around going, oh dear. <laughs> Uh, yes, this is the renovation of Buckingham Palace that is set to cost £370 million. Several of the gas boilers at Buckingham Palace need replacing, and of course the engineers who do it will have to be Corgi approved. <laughs> that was a joke in private eye that was very similar to that. Do you remember it, Ian? I do. It's in this issue. It was similar in the sense of being identical. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not going to use this as an opportunity to flog my merchandise if, if say, I had a Christmas album of songs. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't bring it up. What's that I can hear? played that song to my wife as a punishment. <laughs> you know it's a song about heroin, don't I you? Do. I do. I think it's a song about a state of mind. Caused by heroin. Caused by... <laughs> I thought for years it was about Gordon Brown. <laughs> but surely the lyric, never a frown with Gordon Brown. Must <laughs> have thrown you off the scent somewhat. Thank you. Your, your, uh, your Christmas annual must be out any day now. <laughs> <laughs> My electronic tag comes off on Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that happening. Thank you very much. Thank you. I gave up with Ryanair when you went through the checkout and uh, they said, can you take out the tube toothpaste and stuff? And uh, I said, all right. And they said, you need a plastic bag. I said, OK. And they said, you have to go and buy one. <laughs> yeah. Over there. And then you had to go to a machine and you had to buy four. But anyway, don't you think that's appalling? It's, yeah. it's one of the things that troubles me every day. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes I cry myself to sleep at night, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about that, those three bags. I've uh, got to be honest with you, I think of anyone on this panel, I'm the one with most to complain about, about treatment at the airport. <laughs> do you ever have to drink formula milk to prove that it wasn't a bomb? Because I have. <laughs> <laughs> and eat baby food, which is disgusting. But Putin is not going, is he? Even though he's a fan. I don't know, it's not here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Am I right on this? I've no idea. It's not going, but Putin... Uh, I thought you were well up on... I no, were... no, oh, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, are you not here to his lap? No, OK. Uh, <laughs> this I'm man on... has won a competition to be here tonight. <laughs> I'll name an assassination attempt. Yeah. You buzz in to say if it's true or false. Well, how can we buzz true or false? You buzz if you think you know the answer, and then you say whether you think it's true or false. OK, yeah, that's good. That will work. <laughs> Poisoned shoe polish, true or false? True. Yes. But I buzzed. <laughs> that's where the system breaks down. <laughs> Next one. Toilet paper that would catch fire from the friction when wiped against human <laughs> skin. That's one of my worst nightmares, that. <laughs> Um, we change brands. Um, Paul, is it true or false? Definitely false. false. Yeah. UKIP, that's the new leader what? and yeah. the one next to him. No, I don't want the job. No, no, no. <laughs> what do we know about Paul Nuttall? He's, he's a done, lovely man, despite he's appearances. He's done just about every other job in the party, apart from leader. So he's done his apprenticeship and now he's got the top job. Congratulations, Paul. Yes. Mm. <laughs> you're, you're trying so hard to be nice about it. I'd like that. Nice Congratulations. You should be you should fine. Be <laughs> <laughs> what do you want her to do? Go around and deck him? Exactly. She, That's the old She's been gracious, gracious, <laughs> gracious in defeat. Boris Johnson believes in freedom of movement, and David Davis said the UK might pay for access to the EU single market. Do you feel betrayed, Suzanne? Um, I tell you what, I'm having that cake. I want the cherry on the top too, but I ain't paying for it. You're going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, though, they're not going to give it to us, are they? Well, you don't need to be. I mean, you know, every country in the world has access to the single market, but you don't need to pay for it. But there's 27 of them all saying, yes, you do, unless you come to, unless there's free no, movement, is there? there's that? 27 of them who uh, are totally reliant upon us 
for their trade and for their jobs. Oh, they, they need, they, yeah. They, yeah, and we don't, they don't, yeah, we don't need them at all. They might be a bit uh, reliant, but totally is... I mean, that's up there with the 300 totally? feet. I'm afraid you did say totally. If I rephrase that, then. Yeah, how about um, the bit? <laughs> <laughs> In a good month. But there are 27 countries out there who are heavily reliant upon us for their trade. <laughs> We've gone from totally to heavily. How very about heavily. not very? No, they are very much so. Yeah, it's a mix-up on Grinder, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all right, we'll carry on. Good, excellent. I love this, it's brisk. Yes, <laughs> bloody brisk. Have you got somewhere to go? I do, it? actually. <laughs> Channel 4. <Yeah. laughs> in the Supreme Court, they don't wear wigs. They're rather modern in the Supreme Court. Oh, they just wear really? ordinary clothes. They come as the Supremes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sadly, we're not actually allowed to show you any footage from the court, but do you think it'd be possible to sort of stage our own repertory theatre crown court Absolutely. I'd fight here. anybody who said we couldn't do it. All right, good. <laughs> no expense spared here on Have I Got News For You. We've got wigs. We've got ruddy wigs. I'll happily put it on the desk in front of me. All though. right, my love. No, that's, yes. that's good. That's good. Well done, Adol. You see, Adol's wearing a wig. Oh, wearing wig. They accuse people like me of not integrating. <laughs> 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 Stop! Stop! In the name of love! <laughs> 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 I like, I, Paul, I very much like the way one, yeah, one flap is sort of back and one is forward. It's, it's deliberate. It's very it's alluring. Flirting. It's very alluring. It's flirting. Um, not, Ian's not going to wear one either. Well, oh. I don't know about that. I think we've won this yeah. round already. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing the number of people who think they've got dignity to lose. <laughs> 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 okay, let I let the drama begin, my okay, darlings. Off, shall I? Uh, can I come on to the fifth topic, which is the Kaiser and the other case law? Have I been mispronouncing that case all my adult life? <laughs> Would your ladyship like to tell me the correct? De Kiza. I will call it De Kiza. I may be wrong. I am often wrong. You say De Kiza, I say De Kaiser. <laughs> Down here, we think it is the Kaiser. <laughs> Very strong. We can each stick to our own because the transcript will not give away what we have called it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. I tell you what, if we keep these on, they'll have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be able to cut it out. Exactly. Yeah, we've got it on now. Exactly. You should have thought of that before you hand out the props. <laughs> hey, hey, look at this. <laughs> I think you were right not to wear the wigs. I think you're right. Jacob, what did you whisper just then? <laughs> Something about the wigs? I said I thought the two of us were right not to wear the wigs. They're still here yeah, if you change your minds. <laughs> Well, you know, it wouldn't be beyond the wit of the production team just to sort of have a photograph of you and just sort of, you know, computer Photoshop the wig on top. But, yeah. but the BBC wouldn't behave in such a disgraceful way. No. No. Well, I've given them half an hour's warning. <laughs> <laughs> the American author who said that London is becoming Islamic. Yes. 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 Janie Johnson is her name. And she tweeted this. My friends just returned from London, shocked, hadn't been in 20 years, said London is gone, all Islamic. <laughs> now, Janie's tweet was met with a variety of responses. I can confirm, one of the London landmarks is actually a giant woman. <laughs> These words were first sung by Chancellor Norman Lamont after he screwed the economy. There they go. Happy, happy people. Happy, smiling people. Just hope they know the way out. Yes, there they go. <laughs> Did they actually hear the music? I don't know. I don't know. What was know. Michael Portillo doing? He looked, he looked like a sort of weird donkey, didn't he? His yeah. legs were all over the shop. Do you think people might take Mr Johnson more seriously if he actually learnt to dress himself? Properly. Have a look at this. 
give us an approximation of where your tie goes down to tonight. Is it a little short job or is it a low slung? <laughs> Because we don't know. Tie goes to a suitable level for a tie to go. <laughs> Are we still talking about ties? We're talking oh, about yes. ties. Uh, you supported Boris for the leadership, yes, didn't you? great man. Until he was... Um... <laughs> and very popular on Have I Got News For You. All our jobs are going to be taken over by robots. You are bang on. All these robots coming over here taking our jobs. <laughs> <here. laughs> I have a superior intelligence, but <laughs> it's steam. I cannot take this steam. <laughs> You're really you enjoying you? that character, Paul, aren't you? You're really good at robots. Very well, good. There's a reason for Come that. Come on, then. Break <laughs> 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 exterminate. <laughs> Come on, robot, 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 robot. We've all Come done on. them. Come on. Come on, Jacob. Come on. I, w I, I would if I could, but I That was brilliant! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Robotic rectum. <laughs> and here it is. What's that? I know. What is that we're, bit between oh, his legs? We're, we're all thinking that, aren't we? What's, he... What's up his arse is the least of his troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make the noise? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> or, mmm. <laughs> oh, you are to take me out for dinner now. <laughs> oh, hang on, Jacob, sorry. Yeah, I've just got word in from the photoshopping department. Have a little look at this. What was purple, scrawny, and pungent? A carrot. <laughs> it is, of course, to do with carrots. The answer is the ancestor to the modern-day carrot. Oh. You'll be surprised at just how close you are to what. I'm sticking with carrots. <laughs> <laughs> In 200 million years, there will be 25 what? Carrots. <laughs> Jacob, are you just going to say carrots mm. for every yes. single answer? Well, I've got one right, and we've got a point, so I might okay. get another. <laughs> It's official. 2016 is the year what? Of the carrot. You've got to... There's got to be. It's it's got to be absolutely. Of the absolutely of the right. Carrot. It's the year <laughs> of the carrot. <laughs> oh. And with Paul tonight, we were due to have the former education secretary, Nikki Morgan. Uh, but because of a falling out with Downing Street over Theresa May's £1,000 leather trousers, she's decided not to come. So, in her place, please welcome Nikki Morgan's £1,000 leather handbag. So that bag is worth £1,000, is it? Not at the moment, it's doing very little for its money. <laughs> I'm hoping that it will justify its appearance fee by the end of the programme. It's Sorry. been optimistically given a mic, do you see, just here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's face it, so far it's doing better than some of the people I've been sitting next to recently. <laughs> anyway, it was meant to be hypocritical, but that... Ooh, blimey. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hello? No, no, she's not here at the moment. <laughs> No, we're recording it now. Yeah. And Gary Lineker. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you're thinking of Emperor Hirohito. That's not him. <laughs> no, that's Elvis Presley. Gary Lineker. Yeah, great. Yeah, you can, you can smell it on his breath. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> It's a group of 40 rebel Tories who are fighting for a soft Brexit inside the single market. Uh, they're being called the new bastards. Uh, however, uh, one aide told the Sunday Times uh, they're more bunglers than bastards. And uh, with that in mind, shall we play a game of bungler or bastard? Yes! <laughs> Sorry, we've not got time. Uh, why might it not be... I'm given a handbag as a guest. I'm promised bungalow or bugler, whatever it is. I'm ready with me answers. I come up with a theme tune and we're told we're not doing it. 
Um, what did he uh, say about the trains? He said that essentially they should be nationalised uh, since we're all paying through the nose for them anyway and they're utterly useless. Why don't we just take it on board? Do you agree? Uh, why, yeah, no, I'm totally for it. Mm. Um, but again, you know, it's one of those things when you find yourself agreeing with Jeremy Corbyn, you think this country is in a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Diggs has installed a 20-foot inflatable snowman in his front garden, but someone clearly wasn't a fan, so drove up in the night and stabbed him. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Why was that recorded on the 12th of April? I've got to think this whole thing is a bit of a practical joke. <laughs> There's no snowman on the 12th of April. And if there was, you're well within your rights to stab it in the Exactly. <laughs> wrong place, wrong yeah, time. I like that. Mm. Right. You're not mm. selling them, are you? <laughs> just friends, just friends, and uh, it's a good man. I mean, who comes out of a meeting and has to say, just friends? <laughs> <laughs> What did you discuss in your meeting? I didn't touch his penis, if that's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> On your next anniversary or any other special occasion, don't get your sweetheart the traditional bouquet of red roses. Get them what? Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Is it right? I don't know, I can't find You're it. Right. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that last one? I got it. He got it, great. I'm back in order. Glad to hear you. Whew. Yeah. Next year's big thing is expected to be... Host on Have I Got News Viewed that knows what they're doing. <laughs> uh, next year's big thing <laughs> is expected to be... Leslie Hazeldine's washing machine does a cracky impression of Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie thinks it's saying, come on then, in a Cockney accent. Shall we have a listen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, I, I want to hear this. Here we go. 